James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com, with your thought for the day, July 5th, 2017. Now, I know that you have all seen over the past year how things have gotten crazier and crazier in the corporate-controlled MSM establishment dinosaur media, but things are getting even crazier by the day if you can imagine it. And if you can't, here's the story in short. Of course, we've all seen by now this infamous Trump wrestling video. Oh my God, Trump beating up CNN in this video that's obviously taken from Trump's appearance on World Wrestling Entertainment or whatever they call it these days. So there you go. What a horrible, unbelievable thing. Of course not. It's just a stupid meme. There's a million of them on the internet. But Trump tweeted this one, so that makes it something special, I guess. 339,000 retweets, 563,000 likes. It's made the rounds. And the funniest part of all of this, not, not even the silly meme itself, but the pearl-clutching, oh my god, gasp, horror, shocked reaction from the MSM with Trump's tweets attacking CNN is un-American, top media ethicist says. Oh, listen up, guys, a top media ethicist is speaking. We all better listen. Or, uh, or, or CNN's uh, hard-hitting follow-up on how the White House stays silent on anti-Semitic connection of Trump's anti-CNN video. Because, of course, when we see this, the first thing we think is, oh my god, this is so anti-Semitic. Oh, how horrible. And, uh, you know, of course, of course it is. And, of course, the White House stays silent on this anti-Semitic connection because this is a stupid, ginned-up non-story about total nonsense that has been in the spotlight now for days as North Korea starts launching intercontinental ballistic missiles and Saudi cutter, cutter crisis starts to reach a boiling point and Syria continues to descend into chaos and all of this going on all around the world. But, no, the most pressing story is this stupid meme uh, it uh, absolutely beggars the imagination how this can continue to dominate the news cycle. And yet, today CNN outdid themselves with this story that is so crazy, I can't even articulate how crazy it is. How CNN found the Reddit user behind the Trump wrestling gif. That's right, folks. The hard-hitting journalists at CNN have spent their time and journalistic resources hunting down the Reddit user who had originally made this meme that Trump then tweeted. Because that's important for some reason. I can't imagine why, but it is, according to CNN. So this story is about how they, they literally, they doxed this guy, Han Asshole Solo. <laughs> they, they are literally making entire stories about a Reddit user named Han Asshole Solo and how they doxed him. They found his personal information and tracked him down and, and went after him for comment on this story, at which point he made this very heartfelt, freely given, totally real apology that was not done under coercion or duress of any sort. Uh, no, not in any way was he, did he feel pressured to give this by the fact that an international news organization was threatening to reveal his personal identity for having made a stupid meme. No, he made this heartfelt apology. Oh, I'm so sorry for, for any trouble I've caused and I wish the president hadn't tweeted it, blah, blah, blah. But this is where it gets absolutely insane. Um, because, I, again, I just don't even know what to say here. CNN is not publishing Han Asshole Solo's name because he is a private citizen. Okay, fair enough. Oh, wait, there's more. A private citizen who has issued an extensive statement of apology showed his remorse by saying he has taken down all his offending posts and because he said he is not going to repeat this ugly behavior on social media again. In addition, he said his statement could serve as an example to others not to do the same. Do you see what they're saying here? It's not, they're not going to not release his name because he's a private citizen who made a stupid wrestling meme. They're not going to release his name because he's a private citizen who has issued an extensive statement of apology and showed his remorse by taking down his posts and not going to repeat this behavior. And he wants his example to serve as an example to others. This is insane. And this is the creepiest part. CNN reserves the right to publish his identity should any of that change? Do you see what they are saying here? Does this send a chill down your spine? They are literally threatening, openly threatening this guy. We will publish your identity. We will subject you to this international media attention if you 
take back your apology? Post some of these things again? Repeat this ugly behavior on social media? It's absolutely, it defies description that CNN is devoting its time and international journalistic resources on this story, and they are outright threatening a Reddit user for having made this. It's it's beyond words. I have no words for this. And it gets even worse, because as some people are pointing out, CNN just committed a crime, violating section 135.60 of the New York Criminal Code on Coercion, specifically subsections 1, 5, and 9. And... To top it off, they may have committed a felony violation of 18 U.S. Code Section 241 talk in relation to the First Amendment, talking about oppressing or threatening or intimidating persons in the free exercise of their free speech. So there you go, guys. If they are found guilty of that, they could be imprisoned for no more than 10 years. Um, so good luck, Andrew Kaczynski, now that you have openly doxxed and threatened someone. Um, absolutely insanity going on right now. But that's the uh, media world that we're living in. Now, of course, I'm not expecting that CNN ever will be prosecuted for this because, hey, it's CNN and it's the American injustice system. But if anything does come from this, if there is any critical reporting that ever comes out about this, they'll just take it down or alter the story. We all know that, which is exactly why it's been preserved here at archive.is, the webpage capture site. So this webpage has been preserved for posterity, and if they ever try to remove this uh, threat, well, here it is, preserved, so we can all see it for austerity. I will put the link to this in the show notes, of course, as always. So there you go. And if I know the internet, I know that the memers out there are going to see this and they're going to go, oh, you win, CNN. We didn't realize that this really hurt your feelings. We didn't realize you were so serious about this. We didn't know how much power you had to, to track people down. So we're going to stop. We're not going to make any more memes. We're, we're not going to do in that kind of... Oh, wait. No, that's exactly the opposite of what's going to happen. Brace your feeds. The memes are coming. CNN blackmail is now trending hashtag on Twitter. And I think Mr. Hattie is quite right for pointing this out. But watch out, Mr. Hattie051, if that is your real name. And if it isn't, don't worry. The K-File Andrew Kaczynski team is going to be on it and going to be tracking you down and finding out who you are. Oh, no. Yes, the memes are coming, and so now what we're seeing is meme after meme after meme after meme after meme coming out about CNN. And uh, th this is exactly what happens on the internet. It's the Streisand effect. You try to push something down, it's going to come up a thousand times stronger than it was before. So of course people are going crazy now with the memes. And uh, that's to the good. Of course that's to the good. Because what is essentially happening here is another attempt to, to chill speech right now. And to show people we can and we will. We'll unmask you. We will find out who you are. We'll publish your personal details. We will th throw that in front of the international media. If you, if you so much as criticize us, we're going to ruin your life. Absolute insanity. Total insanity. But this is the point that we've arrived at. So, uh, uh, you know, what can I say? Keep up the memes, guys. I, I think this is important because there are people who are going to be pushed, pushed over the edge by this. And I mean that in the sense that people who haven't yet seen the insanity of the MSM, the absolute nadir that this this has arrived at, where they are spending entire stories trying to track down people, individuals who make stupid memes, criticizing them on the internet. People are going to start rebelling against this and seeing this for what it really is. So I think this is a good pressure point. But I certainly hope no one actually tweets anything nasty or, or mean at Andrew Kaczynski at K-File because he's just a good reporter doing his job and he's doing doing God's work tracking down the Reddit users who make memes criticizing CNN. So so ho lay off Andrew Kaczynski at K-File on Twitter, guys. I wouldn't want to see anyone tweeting anything untoward to him and uh, making his uh, his job any harder than it already is. So uh, that's just my my little advice for everyone out there right now who are thinking about engaging in this horrible meme activity. Don't do it. Don't do it. Or else. <sighs> James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.